lot of you have suggested that I read out my bucket list for one of my Valor videos. Now, I don't have an actual physical bucket list where I've been writing things down. I really should, now that I think about it. There's thousands of things that I want to do on this planet before I die. So I've picked 10. They're not even my top 10. They're just 10 that I could think of off the top of my head. But they're 10 that you might not know that I want to do, or they're not things that you'd think I'd be interested in, but I actually am. So. Let's see. Again, these are in no particular order, they're just in the order that they came out my brain. One, I want to visit Goblin Valley in Utah. It's where this film called Galaxy Quest was shot, and I love that movie, and it just seems like a really weird place that I really want to see first hand. Two, I want to run or walk a marathon. I'd like to be at a point where I could run it, but I don't think I will ever get to that point. So I'm happy walking a marathon. As long as I just complete a marathon, I'm happy. I can tick that off my bucket list. Three, I want to trek the Inca Trail. I love the idea of doing that and it's something that I just really want to see. It's not enough seeing it on TV or in friends' pictures. I actually want to do it and say that I've done it and see the breathtaking views. That noise is my pizza and my phone going off at the same time. Ah. Four, I want to write a novel. I know I've already written a book, but that was non-fiction, so now I want to write a fiction novel. Five, I want to go to Borneo to see the orangutans. I remember there was this program thing at school that you got to sign up for and you had to dedicate like six months to it and you had to raise like something like 3,000 pounds so you could go to Borneo and uh, I think it was to work for like two or three weeks at an orangutan sanctuary, I think. I couldn't do it when I was at school, but ever since I heard about that, I've always wanted to go to Borneo. Now, number six might sound like a slightly morbid one, but it's something that I feel like I need to do out of respect for history and the past. I really want to visit Auschwitz. It's in Poland, and I've never been to Poland anyway, so I'd like to go to Poland just to visit for kind of a holiday to see what that part of the world is like. Specifically, I want to visit the concentration camp. I'm not exactly sure the specific reason why, but I just feel like I need to. It's part of the world's history and I just feel like it's important that I see it. Number seven is seeing the Winter Palace in St. Petersburg. I was really big on history when I was at school. I was crap at it. I got a C at GCSE, but I loved it. I really loved history. And I learned all about the Romanov family, and so I just really want to see the Winter Palace. And also, I love the movie Anastasia. So seeing the Winter Palace would be like seeing one of my favorite cartoon movies in real life. Number eight is riding the Trans-Siberian Railway. I don't really have a specific reason for wanting to do this. I'm just really interested in the experience of it. Number nine is visit all of the Disneys around the world. I've been to Florida, LA and Paris and I really want to go to Hong Kong and Tokyo and I think they're opening a Shanghai Disney if I'm not mistaken. And finally number ten is something that I'm trying to do soon if I get the time but I really want to visit the Little Mermaid statue in Copenhagen. I think you can also visit Hans Christian Andersen's house which I would love to do. If you are from Copenhagen and you're watching this, please let me know if there's anything fairy tale like or Hans Christian Andersen esque to do in Copenhagen, because if there is, I want to do it. But I have to see that statue. I need to see it. As I said, my bucket list is far longer than just those 10 things. Those were just the 10 that I could think of off the top of my head. So I invite you guys to write in the comments the first 10 things you can think of that would go onto your bucket list. And you're all going to inspire me to add like 400 new things to my bucket list. List. And remember to keep suggesting things that you want me to talk about in these videos, in the V-A-L-A -A Valor videos. I never know whether I just call them Valor videos or if I have to specifically say V-A-L-A. -A. Tell me what you prefer as well. The comment section is going to be so full. But for now, I'm going to eat my pizza and then go to work.